Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, your generous goodness comes to us new every day. By the work of your Spirit, lead us to acknowledge your goodness, give thanks for all your benefits, and serve you in willing obedience. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Thanksgiving Gospel, according to St. Luke, chapter 17. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. This is the gospel of our Lord. Dear friends in Christ, we've seen this coming for weeks. Whether you're watching this video prior to Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving, it's here. And Thanksgiving 2020 is going to be unlike any Thanksgiving that the majority of the people will celebrate. Experts have been advising us for weeks not to celebrate Thanksgiving the way we normally do, with family and friends from all over the place gathered together. Instead, celebrate Thanksgiving with those in your household only. Be careful. And if you follow those instructions, that means you will probably be celebrating Thanksgiving without some of your loved ones. In fact, it might be the first Thanksgiving ever that you're not celebrating with an aged grandparent. And that's going to put a damp cloth on our Thanksgiving celebration. It might make it more difficult for us to be thankful. I'd like to speak to you that, with you about that possibility for a few moments. The fact that it might be more difficult this Thanksgiving than other Thanksgivings to be thankful. You know, Scripture addresses that situation. Several times in the Bible, it tells us to be thankful in spite of our outward circumstances. And one of the places where that is written is in Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. At the very end of the letter, he gives a, a, several encouragements. And one of them is this. Give thanks in all circumstances. Now, what makes that encouragement so extraordinary is what Paul states about the Thessalonians at the very beginning of the letter. He says that they received the gospel from Paul in spite of severe suffering. We're not exactly sure what that was. 
but it was severe suffering. We've suffered through much in 2020. In a sermon this past spring, I summed it up in three words. Politics, pandemic, and protests. And that's still true today. To one extent or another, all three of those are still in the headlines. Day after day after day, in a sense. We're still suffering. And the things that we're suffering through has led more than one person to explain that they'll be glad when they see the year 2020 in the rearview mirror. In fact, I've heard people explain that it, they wish they had never experienced the year 2020 at all. But that would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Because in spite of the difficulties that we've been going through, there still have been blessings in this year. In fact, tremendous blessings. It just takes a little more thought to recall them. For instance, what we've been going through has caused people to be a little more concerned about their neighbor. They're more concerned about their actions, what they are doing, and how that might impact, negatively impact other people. So they're being more careful about the way that they conduct themselves. They're seeing people in need and their hearts going out to them and they're doing what they can to help out, to become active. They seize this opportunity to love their neighbor as their self. That's a blessing. This current situation has also come, has also led us to, be, to appreciate the things that are truly important in life, like our relationships. It's hard being separated from loved ones. And we'll try not to take that for granted again. We cherish those relationships. And because of our situation, we found new ways in order to express those relationships, to become continually involved in those relationships. A year ago, who would have thought that they might have been celebrating Thanksgiving in a Zoom conference? Not me, but it's gonna happen. And we've used technology in other ways to remain connected to the people that we love. This video that you're watching is one of them. There's no way a year ago I would have thought that I'd be sharing a Thanksgiving message with you in this format. But here we are. It's one of the blessings that have come about because of the difficulties we've been going through. We've experienced tremendous physical blessings even in these difficult times. But let's not rely on our outward circumstances for our hearts to be thankful this Thanksgiving. Instead, let's first and foremost recall the spiritual blessings that have become ours in 2020, just as they have been in the past. Ever since the day the Lord placed his name on you at your baptism, calling you a child of God, you have lived in the forgiveness of sins. That was true last year, and it's been true every day of this year as well, and it'll be true in the future. As you remain in faith in Christ as your Savior from sin, what tremendous blessings our God has given to us, the greatest of blessings, Forgiveness through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who suffered, died, and rose again. Those eternal truths have not changed no matter what our outward circumstances have been or will be. And the reason Lord Jesus came to this earth was in order to win eternal life for you. If there's one thing this pandemic has done for me, it's caused me to recognize that this world isn't what I want it to be. Not by a long shot. But my Savior has that life in store for me. He won it by his life, his death, and his resurrection. And he gives it to you and to me by faith in him. We have an eternity of bliss waiting for us in the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the presence of all his holy ones. A bliss that will never end. That's what's in store for you and for me. And so as you pause on this Thanksgiving day and may have, had a, may have a little more difficulty recalling things to be thankful for, put your concentration, your thoughts on those tremendous spiritual blessings that are still true for you today, every day of your life with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so this Thanksgiving, as different as it might be, do what you always do. Do what you always have done. Give thanks 
in all circumstances. May our Lord richly bless your observance of thanksgiving as you ponder those tremendous blessings your God has given to you. Amen. Let's pray. O triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for giving us every needful blessing, both for this life and for that which is to come. It is your gracious providence that has preserved and sustained us all our lives to this day. In times of sickness and pandemic, you have sustained us. You mended our hearts when we were crushed with grief. You helped us endure our losses and forget what was unpleasant. In all the emergencies which, we faced, us, which faced us, you were there to help us. Never once were we forsaken. Gracious God, once again, farms and gardens have produced bountiful harvests, filling granaries and pantries across this land. When we consider the abundance of food produced and consumed in our nation, the advanced medical services available to us, the high standard of living to which we've become accustomed, and the freedom from oppression and tyranny that we enjoy, we must confess that we are truly living in a blessed land. And still, these are neither the sum total of your blessings nor even the most important. Far greater than these are your benefits for our souls. You have loved us with an everlasting love through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Through him, all our sins find perfect forgiveness. Through him, our troubled souls find rest, and our hearts are filled with joy and peace. Lord, you even chose us from eternity to be your own, and through the Holy Spirit, called us to faith through the gospel. To this very hour, the Holy Spirit has worked effectively in us, keeping us true to Christ. Should we not praise you with all our hearts, souls, and minds for these and countless other blessings? Should we not bring you our best offerings? Should we not strive to live decently, uprightly, and honestly to the glory of your name? Oh, may we never fail to see you as our merciful God, our Savior and our Sanctifier. May we never fail to acknowledge that all blessings finally flow from you. Help us overcome the greed and selfishness of our sinful natures so that we might better recognize the needs of others and learn to be generous in sharing with them your manifold gifts. Forgive our many sins and do not on their account withhold your love from us. We pray in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ for whose sake our names have been recorded in the book of life, and who has also taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>